Welcome to Session 4, Profitable Fee Calculations. In this session, you will learn how to calculate your tax preparation fee. You will find that some services are charged on an hourly basis, while most of your work will be based on a form-by-form -form basis. In addition, there will be discussion on accepting credit cards and offering a guarantee. Now, here's your instructor, Alan Bostrom. Your business development so far is good. You have learned what you need to get started, how to successfully market your tax practice and secure clients, and you understand how to conduct interviews. Now you need to plan for a profitable business. You may enjoy preparing tax returns, but you aren't doing this for your health. You need to make money. This session will focus on the money-making aspect of your tax practice. In order to establish pricing, you must be competitive, but you also need to be fair. It's got to be worth your time. If you don't make enough money for the time that you spend, then there's no sense going into the business. As I said, the overall goal for your business is to earn a profit. The types of returns you do and the clientele to whom you market make a big difference in the amount you can charge. However, you could easily underprice the national chains because you're not going to have the kind of overhead that they do. Often you'll get phone calls that go something like this. Hello, how much does it cost to do a tax return? You will tell them it depends on a number of things, like the forms you have to use and the time that you spend preparing each form. But don't forget, you're working out of your home, so your prices will be somewhat less than the average charged by the national firms. How much you charge and earn will largely depend upon where you spend most of your time. If you're like most preparers, about 75% of your time will be spent working with 1040 returns and the balance with business returns. According to a recent survey published by the National Association of Tax Professionals, the average fee charged for 1040 is around 30% of the average fee for an 1120 and 1120S form with any attachments. Furthermore, the average revenue earned per hour preparing business returns is higher than that of 1040 forms. For that reason, your potential revenue will be higher if you spend the majority of your time working with businesses. It's often difficult to determine how much you should charge, especially when you're starting as a new tax preparer. That will change as you gain experience. You have read the story of the experienced plumber who solved the plumbing problem by simply hitting the pipe. When the customer complained about the $50 charge, explained that it only took one second to tap the pipe, the plumber took back the invoice and promptly wrote, 50 cents for tapping the pipe, $49.50 for knowing where to tap. The customer understood. 